Hey everybody, it's John here from VigGimmeAct.com. Here we are today back in King's Quest grabbing the Helping Hat achievement. This is to do three acts of charity in Chapter 1, A Night to Remember. You are going to do your three acts of charities to each of the town's storekeepers. So the first time you head into town, what you want to do is you want to head into the blacksmith and then you want to talk to her. And then she'll ask you to join the neighborhood wolf watch or something like that. Usually she'll be inside, if not she'll be outside fending off the wolves depending on if you left the door open earlier or not. But uh, that's the point where you start the achievement. Alright, to get her act of charity, you want to make sure this door right here stays locked the whole chapter. In any case, you have to go outside. You want to make sure you turn around and lock the door or else you will miss this achievement. So make sure this door stays locked. You have to go outside the door twice. Once for the mistake achievement, another time to go to the well for the main story. If you ever have to go back into town, you can always take the um, rocks up right here and just climb up. It's a real pain, but make sure that door stays locked. If you leave it open, you're going to mess this achievement up and have to do a second playthrough. So hers is really straightforward, but super duper easy to mess up. Alright, the second person we're going to help out is going to be the baker. So the first thing you need is the fruit picker. So I'm going to be showing you from his uh, starting point. He's going to be um, to the left of the southern entrance of town. So to get his fruit picker, what you want to do is you want to make sure you head over to the st um, star fruit tree. So we're going to head over there. It's going to be past the uh, king's uh, place right here, the king's shrine. Off to the right, there's the meat. So there's that for reference. So just uh, keep heading to the right. And uh, just keep heading this way. And you're going to have to pick the star fruit for the main story anyways. But uh, there's a couple of things you can miss if you do it in the wrong order. So uh, pay attention to these little things right here. So head to the don't turn right place and this is where the uh, star fruit orchard is. The first thing you want to do is examine the table and examine this letter. As soon as you do that the fruit picker will leave and leave his uh, picker right here. So make sure you want to steal that. Then we're going to go all the way back and then the first thing you want to do is you want to ram this tree right here. That should drop the star fruit as well as the beehive down. Now this is the moment of no return. What you want to do is you want to interact with the beehive using the fruit picker and that should get rid of it. You, you have to make sure you get the purple badger achievement before you do that because you need the beehive in order to get that achievement. Once again doing everything I can to save you a second playthrough. So once you get rid of the beehive, you want to play the story until you uh, get the blue feather from the merchant and then give it to the potion makers. And then you can start their act of charity, which is to complete their teeth whitening potion. Alright, so right after you do that, you want to make sure you head into the bakery. This is during the third act of the game, so after you get back from the well, because you need to learn um, how to shoot an arrow in order to get the uh, feather. You want to make sure you head to the baker, you want to make sure you uh, ask him of any news and then he should tell you that he got engaged thanks to you getting rid of the beehive and you know you've done that part uh, once you get that zoom in of the letter. Alright, the last part, you have to wait all the way until you finish the speed duel. So what you want to do is you want to head all the way back to the King Shrine. You want to examine the bulletin board and then exit. And then once you exit, uh, Whisper's portrait's going to float down. You're going to add that to your inventory. Then you want to head back to the riverbank where Whisper was. And then you want to make sure you interact with him using his portrait. That should cheer him up because we need him to catch a frog in order to complete the potion for the uh, potion makers. So uh, once he's cheered up, he's going to be your homie, and then you can ask him a favor. So ask him to catch a frog, and then he's going to catch a frog, and uh, then you have to bring this all the way back to the potion makers, and that should complete their act of charity. That's all three acts of charities right there, but you don't get the achievement until the end credits. So here we are back in the uh, potion makers. Make sure you give them the frog. This will also give you a little bonus towards the uh, final challenge against Manny. So that's another note to keep in mind on why you want to do this. Plus you get an achievement. So if you happen to do all three of them, keep the door lock, make sure the baker's uh, date went well and then completed the potion. You should get the achievement during the end credits. There it is, 75 gamer score, and that's all there is to it.